Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Um, it's Sunday and we did not go to estate sales. Uh, last night I looked and one of them was the one we had already done at the preview. And then there was another one and I kind of, I looked at the pictures. I'm like, this just doesn't look like stuff for us. So we decided to sleep in and um, go ahead and we're going to pull orders today. And then we have stuff to show you. We have some more stuff from Friday that we didn't show you. And then we, we had some stuff we picked up yesterday. Um, and we, we got plenty of stuff. So um, we felt good about skipping that one estate sale this morning. So. Yeah. We, I think we bought some uh, some differing, different interesting stuff. Yeah. Um, and some of it was the same kind of stuff. But yes. I don't know. Yes. We, always pick this up when you see it right uh usual if i don't know if the price is right depends on my mood yeah uh paid five dollars for this deluxe edition and um usually honestly i probably shouldn't have picked this one up but i did it looked like it was in good condition uh i did not count, count yeah. the tiles there and should be a hundred tiles the wooden ones are in here right there is a bag of these but they're not opened Oh, is that sealed? Yes. Oh. So if these are all here, we can sell these. Separate. Mm. Um, and we're hoping they don't have these because these are not all here. So right. We'll That's see. what I was thinking. Yeah. But it, I am more hopeful now that I know that they are. I didn't notice it was a sealed. They're factory sealed. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Okay. Huh. I didn't even know that was in there. Yeah. Well, I mean, I knew it was in there, but yeah, I didn't know was, it was. Yeah, sealed. Right. Yeah. Paid five dollars for that. Um, we went to an interesting garage sale where everything was cheap, and one table they had, they had like a line down the middle, and they're like, everything on this side is fifty cents, everything on this side is free. Um, I think the most of the stuff we got was on the fifty cent side, um, including this Pensacola Beach um, sign ornament. Yeah, any of y'all that have ever driven to Pensacola Beach, Florida, it's iconic. It's uh yeah that sign with the uh the, sailfish or marlin it? yeah it's huge yeah you see it as you're going in, into Pensacola Beach and they also have a water tower that's painted like a big beach ball those are just both iconic and um I have no idea if that's even worth anything but it was cool for fifty cents I had to pick it up you know yeah it's produced from space age materials oh wow that's what it says. This animated ornament produces a soft neon-like glow, simply plugged into any string of crisps. It's the way. What exactly does space age mean? Because we've been going to space for a very long time. So what exactly does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they would say it. But anyway, <laughs> we paid like fifty cents for this yeah. thing. Same thing for this. I saw it, and Lonnie's like, "You're passing up a nun." Well, yeah, it's a creepy nun. It's not the cute mid-century type. Yeah, but it was 50 cents. Oh, no. It's, um, Nunzilla. She's, look at her. Oh, she's mad. She's oh. got that. Look at her ruler. Oh, no. She's got a ruler in her Wait, hand. Wait, does her mouth spark? No, it does. Look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's going to be a fun listing. We get this. Oh, yeah. So I'm coming for you, little Catholic school students. <laughs> Give me your knuckles. <laughs> so I looked that up. Candace was going to pass on it for 50 cents. I looked it up. I'm like, Candace, this thing sells for 15 to $20. I'm buying this. I'm shocked. And it comes with the box. Yeah. So, yeah, I did say that I always pick up every nun I see. Not every nun. I'm going to leave this kind of Lonnie. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> um, new and packaged virtual pets. It's not the what's it called? Tomagachi. Yeah. It's it's a newer thing. It's uh, but it is almost twenty years old. It's two thousand four. Oh. I don't think it's worth a bunch. Yeah. Um, it was worth a shot. I picked it up without looking it up. I didn't even know you got that. This was on the fifty cents table. It's uh, Fitz and Floyd. So I'm like, I'll pick it up. You never know. Fifty cents. Okay. So you don't. All know of our fifty cents. You never know is going to add up. <laughs> Same yeah. thing with these two things. That's okay. My, my nun has your back. Yeah. My nun will take care of a lot of your quarters. A dollar for the pair of these. I thought they were interesting. Sugar and creamer. Um, first of all, the handles are really cool looking. And it's etched. It's not like... Um, huh. Yeah, they're like laser etched. And I didn't see any maker's mark on them. So, But the unusual design, I'm, I should be able to find them, I, I would imagine. Okay. Um, this was on 50 cents table. Aladdin thermos. It's clean. I don't think it was ever used. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
Okay. Yeah. I didn't know you picked that up either. Yep. And Did I'll you look it up? No. I always like these with the diamonds on them. I always pick those up because they're cheap. And then also on the 50 cents table and new is some icicles from 1966. Now, I did look these up and some go for pretty good money and then one went for like crazy money and I don't know why. I, 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 maybe there's a way they This is them. new old stock, right? I don't, it says 1966 right there, so... No, um, I mean like it's... Oh it's, yeah, it's never been open. The packaging's kind of beat up and... Um, for those of y'all that are younger and don't know, like here, this is how we used to decorate our trees. We put up... <laughs> We put the lights on and, you know, all the ornaments and stuff. And then at the end, you open one of these up and you just throw all this crap on your tree. Yeah, it's strings of uh, metal, basically, like <laughs> right. aluminum. Real, really, um, it ends up everywhere, like kind of like glitter. Yeah. It's super light. Um, it's super tacky. Uh. But in a way, in a way that some people enjoy. It, was, it came out during that age when it was like everybody was obsessed with like um, space in uh, mid space modern, age. you know, like the space age. Yeah. Right. So yeah, um, pick those up for fifty cents. All right, these books here. Where did they, oh, did these come from? This sale? Yeah, they did. I paid okay. uh, fifty cents a a piece for those books. They're all chess books, and you're gonna lot them up, right? Yep. There's four chess. No, five. Four. Four chess books. And uh, I like this one's probably decent. This one probably not so much. This one's probably pretty good. And I don't know about this one. It's written by a Russian. They're pretty good at chess usually. So is it in Russian? Uh, no, I don't think so. Nope. Okay, so yeah, that'll be a nice little chess book lot. Yeah, I'll make a little lot out of it. Some um sealed. Well, this one is sealed, and then these are like. Yeah. Type flight simulator type software so this is a different sale but um i found these for a dollar a piece i never even knew this existed uh this is when sublogic was making flight simulator games that was the original uh creator of a flight simulator was sublogic that was the name of the company i think microsoft bought them out at some point but uh this was tandy compatible yeah, that's just IBM back in the day. I like these, this. Did you read it? The voice for Sound Blaster users, the voice of air traffic control. Yeah, so it comes alive with the flight sense with new flight sense sound modules. So I think these are like I think these are probably add-ons for the flight simulator game, I think, cuz it says flight assignment airline transport pilot. Both of them say that. These are from 1990, so this stuff is like 34 years old. There are comps. Uh, I looked briefly, and I saw these things selling for like $30 plus, something like that. Uh, I did look inside. They they do have the three and a half inch floppies in them, uh, and everything looks to be in pretty good shape. So I think this is a pretty good score. Now, this, on the other hand, uh, may or may not be. I think it's, there's a good chance it's not worth much. Um, but it's one of those game packs and it is also it's sealed it's sealed but it's not something anybody ever really wanted yeah 1998 so it is older it's like 25 years old mm -hmm. but uh yeah we'll see i figured for a buck i would go ahead and throw it in yeah and then um this cookbook was 25 cents um coping through cooking it just looked interesting to me, so I picked it up. Um, I don't even know who it... We didn't see any solds, but there are some listed for, like, pretty good money. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, it's from the, for the Baton Rouge Crisis Intervention Center. So, okay. like, like, I guess the people that um, answer the phones and stuff for crisis, this is their book, their cookbook. Okay. So, all right, we have some more stuff to show y'all. Okay, these are from the same uh, sale that we were talking about. Had the fifty cent dollar table. Well, they also had a two dollar table and a three dollar table. And these were on it. Um, these are really nice wooden. looking wooden floor registers, and I figured they had to be pretty. This looked like the kind of thing that would be pretty expensive at the store. Yeah. And uh, I looked them up briefly on eBay, and I decided to go ahead and take a shot. So I paid two dollars a piece for three of those uh all new sealed this is um just a corning white plain white um gravy 
boat and um i talked candace into getting it yeah <laughs> but just because it had the packaging right it's new in and box it, yeah it's like it's new so and, and it does have the stand yeah that's down below the plate. yeah it's all so that'll be good to sell um i think that was two dollars also right got this for free this is gonna probably go with our display stuff for photography um figured we could use a smaller thing like that this was a uh little special home run here how much were the books there 50 cents 50 cents a book yeah okay so yeah um these are called witch buster they're manga oh i didn't realize they were manga i yeah. didn't know that um and i don't know how many volumes they are there are when i looked them up someone had recently sold volumes one through 18 and you can see there's multiple volumes in each book two volumes and you saw one through 18 had sold for how much what did i say was it 160 something like that yeah so um yeah no brainer there when i saw that comp i see a piece of paper in one of them i think like, somebody marked their spot yeah i, I was just curious if there's anything on it uh oh reads left to right oh that's a note for us oh the the it was some older people having the sale oh reads left to right like yeah. a regular book so they aren't like manga the where you open where they go backwards well that makes sense because the cover art is where our cover art would right. be for regular books so um I man guess, that was a home run we'll put that in the description of the listing although whoever's buying them probably knows that was a home run that was a home run um these were 25 cents each magazine they're all outdoor photography photographer and um i the, bought them because i like to buy lots of magazines if they're cheap yep and um i did do a, a brief comp on those and i saw someone that sold like somewhere around 30 issues for 30 dollars, and i'm like okay i can 4x yeah i could do i can pay a quarter and get a dollar a whack for those in bulk yeah it'd be a fast listing so yeah i'm kind of a sucker for doing that this, then, this sale was interesting <laughs> yeah they had uh I saw this car, this uh, Turbo Tantrum, Tyco Turbo Tantrum. They didn't have the remote control for it or the charger for the battery. But I looked it up. And if you do have the remote control and the charger and all that stuff, and it's working, I saw someone that got $80 for one of these. So um, I was looking at it. I asked her about it. She said she, she didn't have the remote or anything. Um and I'm like, well, how much do you want for just this? And uh, she sold it to me for a dollar. Yeah. And then I asked about this uh, power supply, this Roland AC adapter, which I'm guessing is for a keyboard. And she just gave that to me. After she, they just wanted their, their little stuff gone. Yeah, it was the last one. sale we went to. It was later in the morning, and I, they were pretty much done. You know. Right. So. Yeah. yeah. All right, we have some more stuff. All right, here's some interesting stuff. We bought some of these strength shoes, uh, which are made, they're supposed to be like, they're supposed to make you a, a better jumper. Yeah. Because of how, you know, they have you up on your toes. Or on the balls of your feet, yeah. Right. But look how weird they are if you've never seen them. Pick these up for $3. They've been um, used pretty well, but... We, they're we, mostly just kind of dirty yeah we tested like there's no cracking going on there so um i picked bought them for three and we looked them up they used to sell for like a hundred right yeah i've sold these for like a hundred before yeah. um i think in that condition if once we clean them up we're probably looking at about forty dollars or so yeah 34 30 to 50 dollars somewhere in that range yeah uh top top uh and like great condition probably is sixty dollars now the market's kind of gone down on those yeah but we only paid three which yeah. is a great deal um call of duty xbox one and this master chief helmet was kind of like a bundle deal well it was because um it was it was an estate sale kind of scenario but there wasn't I don't think it was really billed as an estate sale. No, it was it was a family. It was run by a family, but it said uh, multifamily. Uh, okay. But it was in an empty house. Um, it, you know, it wasn't like out in the, just out in the yard. It was the whole house. So they had Call of Duty Ghost Prestige Edition sealed for Xbox One. Uh, you can see the shrink is torn away right here. Otherwise sealed. They originally wanted forty five for this. And they wanted $50 for the Master Chief uh, helmet, Halo helmet. 
It has, um, and it has the stand. It has the bag. Helmet's in great condition. It has the, Pinnacle. it has this. It even has the, uh, what do you call that stuff? The silica. Yeah. No game though. Doesn't, does not come with the game. And, um, yeah, they wanted 50 for that. And so 95 total. I, I got her to come back there and look at it, the stuff with me. And we finally agreed on $65 for both. Yeah. And um, the good news is I think I can get probably, because we have the sleeve for the box and everything. The dust cover. And the helmet, like, I didn't see any issues with the helmet at all. I didn't see, like, any no. condition issues or it's anything. It's a little dusty, but that's it. Yeah, well, I'll just dust it with the brush real quick. I think we can probably get about 100 for the helmet. Okay. And then I'm not really certain about this. This might be more like $70 or so. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll make a gross profit of, of about $100 on these two pieces. Okay. That's, that's my best that's guess. Good. No, I was happy with that. Yeah. I wasn't willing to pay the 95, but the 65 made it work. Okay, we went to a really cool sale that had a bunch of uh, interesting vintage stuff. It was a business, but uh, we've been at a sale here before. They had, I think it's um, maybe like jujitsu or something. Or I think they do storage units too, or something. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. So they, we've been there before, and they always have cool stuff. These are different, very different. We have never dealt with this. This is a brand new category for us these are um for cemeteries here in louisiana and basically it talks about the cemetery and then it has a directory of everyone that's in the cemetery yes um and some and there are some that have drawings and stuff look like these are like advertisements that maybe to are, help produce the book i bet no i bet this was what was run in the newspaper oh uh, maybe i don't know but and then there's an index in the back so you can see what page you know so what on. i'm thinking is we can just like lot these together maybe because they're all louisiana cemeteries yeah and i know i know a lot of this stuff is on computer but there are still i think genealogy is still like a big deal yeah i mean have, you, have any of you ever encountered these what do you know about them um what what should we be how should we be wording this to figure out what to list them for and keep in mind we haven't like just like like always when we show y'all stuff usually we haven't done our done the research yet so yeah. we haven't googled and all that stuff right. yeah so i mean i know we a lot of times we come off as like duh but that's because we it's literally, <laughs> like, we just took it out of the truck. And they were they were priced separately for some reason, like three. Four they were kind of expensive. Yeah, their prices at the sale, they had some really cool, interesting things, but their prices were kind of high. On some stuff. It's like a state, a state sale prices, basically. On some stuff, but on some stuff, like that thing I thought was like a deal. Yeah, $3 for that. Look at this. Um, it's a boat. It's mounted on a piece of wood. Yeah, it's this little metal thing. It looks like to me, it's like a one of those skinny European river boats, is what I think it is. Yeah, I don't know. Five in oh, Volks Wander Tag. So I guess this is a German. Yeah. MSC Gemunden, Gemunden, AM 1976. And then it's on this little piece of wood. Y'all can see, I, it's got a. Uh, for the German, I know we have quite a few German viewers actually. Uh, 7531 Eisingen. Then it gives a telephone number there. To me, this looks, uh, this totally looks like 70s. I think so too. Yeah. This totally looks like 70s. And look, it came with this cool little stand. Yeah. That's a chunky little guy, huh? No, it's been heavy. <laughs> it needs to be. This little, little piece of metal in there is kind of heavy. Yeah. So I don't know what how much is it going to sell for or if we're going to be able to sell it yeah but we only paid three dollars for that um i bought these um these pantyhose because i thought um they're they're like you can't tell but they're like glittery so i thought i'd give them a try um and they are queen size and i found that um queen size pantyhose seem to sell better than just regular so i think if when i do buy pantyhose that's what i'm going to stick with i think I have a I have a variety of theories about why that is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is cool. It's Science Service Science Program by Nelson Doubleday. And look at these little pamphlets. They're so they're, they're books. Like radio and radar astrology. I loved it. 
Atomic look at that. power. Look at and look how look how perfect the books are. Yeah. They're in great condition. Space exploration, air traffic control. Let's see what else we've got in here. Sand and glass and navigation. Look how cool. Yeah. Aren't That's these neat? A cool little set there. I love this set. When I found this, I'm like, okay. I don't yeah. have to look that up. I'm buying yeah, it. Yeah. Two dollars. See that? That's one of the ones where I was like, okay, man, that's a great price for that. Yeah. Look, look, it all goes in this whole thing. I think they have a lot of other sets like, like this. Programs or th uh, subject matter. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, these new and package um, tubes for Coleman lanterns. Dollar each for those. You. I think you, I think you looked up comps on that, huh? On the, it's like yeah, they, I mean they're not like home like run. maybe ten to fifteen dollars a piece or right. something. Right. Yep. So that's fine. And, uh, here's the other pair of pantyhose I got from there. I thought those were cool. That design on there. So, and then this. Um, oh, great I, courses. That's great courses. Understanding modern electronics. Yeah. I did check to make sure everything was there. It is used. But, but it's really clean. Look at that book. I wonder if they charged me 75 cents for the book and the... They probably did. That's, you know. Okay, whatever. So, <laughs> buck fifty for that. Yeah. All right. Y'all ready to see some more weird junk? <laughs> All right. So, we've been dabbling with glass lately. Yeah, we picked up some of those paperweights and did well with them. So, uh, we saw this. And I, I want to say I paid $4 for this uh, drunken sailor. He's sitting on a barrel. He's sitting on a barrel. He's got a bottle of booze and he looks all tore up. And look, he's got his little, uh, what do you call that thing that goes around their neck like that? on the uh, Ascot maybe? I don't know what you call it. You know how it goes behind them and yeah. stuff. But I just thought it was really neat. Yeah. Uh, so there is one active right now for $75. Yeah. So, so yeah, I'm going to get on worth point and see if I can find some more, some solds. But the price we bought it for, we can, we can ask 50 or whatever we yep. want. Yep. You know? Um, these were $3 for the pair. And, um, from what us from what people are saying, they're Libby. Oh, there is a mark on the bottom. Yeah, they're Libby. And, um, it's just a circus scene. And so I thought they were cool looking. Pick those up. When are these from? Um, I don't know. Libby still makes glasses, I think. But uh, this design, I would oh, say. Oh, that looks old. Yeah, probably anywhere from 50s to 70s, you know. Yeah, those are cool. Yep. Um, Choose your own adventure book set. Now, this is a newer one. But... Yeah, that's a modern one. So, th this may only be worth like $10 is it or new? something. Did you take them out? Um, they're not in order. Okay, so, it's so not, they're not new. It felt but, like I was having resistance. Oh, no, it's tight. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to try it. But them. it's a little book set. I only paid a dollar for it. And uh, I knew it wasn't... The original. I knew yeah. it. I, yeah, because look, it was like twenty one ninety nine originally at the store. I'm like, right. okay, that's definitely not, you know. Plus, when they first came out, I don't think barcodes were a thing, huh? Uh, I think they were. Were they? I think they came out in the 80s. Okay. So, or maybe late seventies. I think barcodes were were probably a thing. Got, if, if you can find a good, like a a lot of the original books, yeah, those are good. Those can be very good. Yeah, yep. Um, these are cool. They're vintage ducks and limited hats, and this one actually. Um, oh, it's missing the V on Ville Platt. You see wait, that? Is it like a sticker on there? Okay. Yeah, it did have a V on there. What the heck? So we're gonna pull Eel Platt. Oh. Out of there. Yeah. Okay. Somebody customize it themselves, I think. Oh, those are just little cloth letters they stuck on the hat. Yeah. So we just removed the rest. Yeah. Because the rest of it is all, um, y'all can see it's like embroidered. It's embroidered, yeah. So yeah, these are, um, let's see. This one is made in Sri Lanka. D Ducks Unlimited stuff does pretty well. And th yeah. This one is cool, look. It is. It's camo uh, with the mesh back. And the, yeah. and the, um. The foam is in good condition. Is in good condition on that one. Up, yeah. Let's see. This one doesn't have foam. This is like a canvas. Yeah, this one's made in Korea. Yeah. These are nice. Yeah, they're in, they're in excellent condition. These are going to do well. Yep. I'm happy um, with that. I picked up this little box of mini brands for a dollar, only because I saw like Disney ones in there. So, and I know most. I would say probably 99% of mini brands are not worth anything, but every once in a while you'll find a gem. And so, you can always lot them up, right? Yeah. So for a dollar, yeah. I'll Aren't these like, cool? Look, that's a little Funko. Yeah. A BB-8. Look, here's SpongeBob. 
That's so yeah, cool. There's franchises in here, which is why I picked them up. Yeah. Look. Look, here's so, Mickey. Little thing of caramel. These, to me. Spider Man. Man, when I was a kid, I would have loved this. Oh my gosh, yes. I can't believe more kids are not into it. It's so cool. Look, there's C3PO. Look at that. Yep. Little Mermaid. Yeah, so I had to get these. That is so cool. I've seen, I remember when you had the mini stuff before, mm -hmm. you had a huge lot of like foods mostly, right? Yeah, and I had a couple that I was able to list on, on its own too. Wait, I was looking, is this that, uh, I thought maybe it was like one of those eggs, is Ryan's World. It's, is it LOL Surprise? What is that? It, it says Surprise, Five yeah. Surprise. I don't think they actually have anything in them like this one. I think it doesn't have anything in it. Here's yeah. another SpongeBob. Yeah, so I thought this would be fun, um, and hopefully there's a gem in there, you know. And I know sometimes the things that are good are going to be gold, and there's a few gold things in here. Oh, really? Yeah, look, those are all gold. So, ah. At least from my past, the last time we had stuff when I was looking at that. Those are fun. Yeah. Look at that. It's yeah, a little Rubik's cool. Cube. Look, a little Minnie Mouse suitcase. Yeah, man, that's the coolest thing. Yeah. Look, look, it's a 64. Uh, uh, that that box of crayons too big for you. I huh? know. I, I I would only understand about eight of those colors, but still, look, isn't that cool? Jesse from Toy Story. Yep. Okay, that's so neat. Yeah, they're really cool. Like I definitely would have been into this as a kid if we if we would have had these. And look, you can collect Funko Pops without it taking up a ton of room. Right. <laughs> I wonder if they make uh, protectors for that size. <laughs> All right. Um, these are Festival Wind Chimes. I did find sort of a comp. I found a sold for these things. Yeah, they're cedar and maybe, I don't think, I don't know if that's copper. No, they're they're made to look like copper. But look, they're brand new in the box, yep. made in USA. Um, I saw somebody sold some for forty-five dollars, but then it had a best. I think it had a best offer. That's interesting. Look, they're hand tuned to the scale of what is the pound sign? I'm a sharp, I think. I'm gonna have to get Molly out here. I think that's a sharp. Yeah. And it has the uh, the num the pound. You call that a pound sign? What else can you call Hashtag. it? Hashtag. Hashtag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Um, yeah, so for new, and I think we only paid a few bucks for them. Huh? No, we paid 10. Oh, did we? Yeah. I kept looking at it. She had 15 uh, on it. Okay. And I, I offered her 10 and she took it. Yeah, we need to get those listed right away. That's a good little Christmas present. Yeah, those are cool. Okay, we picked up the Schnauzer bag because... Sarah? I don't know if y'all have seen Daisy since she had a haircut. We brought her out here when she was scruffy. And, um... So Sarah's been getting her hair cut in the traditional schnau schnauzer cut, and this is what she looks like. Um, so we saw this, and we picked it up for Sarah. I bought her a bunch of, like, health and beauty, like, cosmetic and hair stuff for Christmas. So this will be, like, a cool a little, gift bag. little gift bag to put it in. Isn't that yeah. cool? Yeah. Little schnauzer gift bag. And guess who found that? Lonnie did. Lonnie found that. So Daisy. I'm like, there. that's Daisy dog. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to bring her out here with her when she gets her hair cut next time. <laughs> All right, we have a few more things to show y'all. Okay, here is, uh, this is an interesting buy. Yeah, this was that same uh, multifamily sale that was in a house. And this was set up in the back room. And um, we paid 40 for all of this right here. And the, the price tag said African uh, Villager, African Villager set. It's right here. I think it said, what did it say? African, African Village all for $40. And that's exactly what we paid. Yeah. We paid $40. Uh, I think it's really cool. Look, they have all these guys doing like, okay, there's a musician. They're making like some corn or cooking. Oh, and they're cooking. cooking. There's a fire. Yeah. Um, they're, they're grilling some fish over here. Uh, they, look, they're making some kind of textiles or something. Yeah, they're all doing something. Mm -hmm. um, and we thought they were cool. They're handmade, you know, um, very unique. And uh, we're probably going to sell it as a set, just as Yeah, I think we I should. I don't think we should split it up. I don't think so either. Because we don't really have, as far as these guys go, we don't really have any yeah, duplicates. Like, well, we, we do have, have two palm we trees. We have these two here are duplicates. Oh, they're duplicates. But I, it's such an obscure thing that I don't think somebody's going to, okay, I, I need this guy right. for my set. So yeah, we're just gonna sell it all as one set. I'm yeah. hoping we I'm hoping we can do like around two hundred dollars for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Isn't it cool though? It is. It's really. Could you cool. imagine if like if you set this up on, like if you if you made some terrain to put it on? And look, I mean, like 
This is a piece of big bamboo. Oh and yeah. It's tied. It's tied together. It's oh, not like that. screwed together or anything. So yeah. Man, that is really cool. neat. Yeah. And it's got the thatched roof and everything. Man, this is really cool. I like. I like this. Yeah, it's a neat set. And then these are. Man, and look at all the detail. I know. They did a good job. They really did. Yeah. And, and, like, and then also um look these guys are fishing see yeah oh look there's a little baby on their back oh yeah they have a baby That's and cute. look they have fish i didn't notice that look these have babies on their backs too oh look at that man these are awesome yeah they're cool okay and then also i picked this up for five dollars for the pair it's um a little vintage like appetizer skewers that always like gross me out that they reuse yeah the that's wooden weird. ones you know um but I thought they were cute. So $5 for the pair of uh, those. We don't have a lot of comps to work off of for this. No. However, we have sold like handcrafted wooden stuff in the past. And it's always done well. Yeah. As mm -hmm. long as it, you know, was cool it's, stuff. And it's this, unique. Yeah. And, but we did find like uh, November 27th. I believe this is a similar canoe, if not the same. It's got three people in That's it. That's the same one. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it probably is. It yeah. might. There's going to be differences. Yeah, though. because it's handcrafted. There's going to be differences. Now the one below that is different. It's, no, that's not the same. It's smaller. Um, but yeah, somebody got thirty plus ship for just the canoe. So I think we're looking good. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm thinking we're going to try and get two hundred. Yeah. Um. Is that everything? That's everything. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I. We had fun. Uh, speculative a little bit, but I think overall we have a lot of interesting things and a bunch of quick listers yeah and like yeah this is the kind of stuff we like to buy and sell yeah. though interesting or quick listing and quick selling right yeah uh we do have a uh, pretty good many orders that are going out and it's sunday so we're going to go ahead and pull orders now and i'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon packing those suckers up okay we have i think uh as of right now early afternoon we have 19 ebay orders and we actually have three on etsy etsy's still doing really well yeah uh for etsy i don't mean like as no. compared to ebay it's not doing well but Consider, for it considering when we first like six months we started etsy it was just cold right yeah all right let's get started we're going to start with ebay on seven delta uh satsuma bowl it's uh bowl seven delta Yeah, you just listed. Oh, is it a bowl? Yeah. It's not the platter then, right? Yeah, it's a bowl. Okay. Let's see. There's some stuff on top of it here. Oh, no, it's not. It's under that stuff. We have a little platform. I don't know if y'all could tell. There's a little platform right here. All right, this guy. Yeah, it sold because I moved it the other day for that platter. You touched She touched I it. I did. Um, yeah, I, I just delved into a lot of research for the markings on that thing. Figured out exactly the time period it was made. So we got that, was, that from Kevin Danielle. Yep. Uh, ended up selling it for 50 Uh Roger's Cajun Cookbook on 3 Bravo. Yeah, one of our little standbys. Has a green... That's how we can always find these pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, that was sold for $29.99. Yeah, we paid uh, $8 for this yeah. at an estate pre-sale. Yeah. In the tiger drawer, we sold another Lufkin measuring tape. That's the, about a lot of Lufkin measuring tapes. Is it the measure all chrome clad tape rule in a red box? Yes. Okay. Uh, that sold for $14.99. Two Blade Runner magazines on 6 Charlie, B12 and B14. 6 Charlie. Okay, I have those. Yeah, give me a minute because I have them all in this bag in there. Yeah, give me a minute. Okay, I got these pulled. Uh, we have 12 and 14. And these are so close in condition. I could have got away with listing them. The only re listing them just like a quantity listing, but given that they had that little bit of ink color transfer or whatever from the back of the one that sat on top of it, yep. I really felt, and, and being that this is a collectible, I really felt like I had to take a picture of each and every one, and I did. <laughs> and it's worked out. Um, 
those sold together for $39.98. Yeah, we've sold uh sold a pretty good many of these now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, in the Digimon drawer, we sold a little, it's, it's in a box, Monet is on there. Um, it's a little crisp, a little trinket box shaped like an ornament and a matching necklace. Uh, picked that up at that estate pre-sale um, and it sold for $29.99. What'd you pay, four? Yeah, something like that, just a few bucks. Um, so this is jewelry? Yes. I well, thought it was ornament, or it's an ornament and jewelry. A, it's a little enamel trinket box. It's a hinge trinket. Uh, box. Those little magnetic trinket boxes. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. This was a good sale. Two Bravo clay face. Yeah, we got this from a buy from Guy. Two wear. Bravo. Yeah, and I just touched this the other day too, and I actually had a comp to base this on. Yeah. And uh I didn't believe it was going to sell for that, but I did it anyway and it it sold for that. <laughs> 79.99. Yeah, look at that. It's like a uh what a, a toddler or preschool toy? Yeah, Imagine X, yep. Pretty awesome. Uh one Delta, a lot of 13 Mego robot 8 track tapes. Yeah, one Delta. Right here. A label. I made I'm just put them in a little box. And labeled it 2XL. So that is they... sold for 65. It's funny we p actually picked up the robot at a separate sale. And I have I haven't fooled with it yet. Yeah, that was a few weeks ago, and we haven't even had a chance to fool with it. Uh, in the bolo drawer, uh, one of those turtles I just picked up, a foot soldier. He's got purple head. Yeah, that's this him. guy. Yep, he sold for 19.99. That's kind of on the high side for what those figures are worth in yeah. general, right? Yeah. Most of them are in the five to ten dollar range, I right? Think. Yeah. Um, we sold a pillowcase sham P two, so we need to go dig that out. Yeah, it's gonna be on one of these bins right here, one of these two. So give me just a minute. Okay, we went and uh, this is like one. This is like probably the only questionable buy I've ever made from Guy. Yeah. Or, or the worst buy right. I've ever made from Guy. I think I bought a hundred of these things from Guy for $500. Yeah. And I think this might be like the fourth one we've sold. Slowest seller thing ever. It, it really is. <laughs> like it, just about everything I bought from Guy either met expectations or even in a lot of cases, greatly exceeded expectations. So yeah. I'm not like this is not me complaining or anything, but this is pro this. There's no way to say this is not a bad buy. Yeah. So just just for y'all to know, if right? You're looking to buy these. Uh, yeah, we sold one, but man, these have been listed for like, like three, three years. years. Yeah. And uh, we've only sold like four of these now. I think it's time to lot them up. Like, they are cool though. They are. They're really cool. Uh, maybe it's just like some of them are really good. I think um, it, the subject matter, like like this is this airport is very obscure or whatever, you know. Like if it's a cool place, like if you had Pearl Harbor or we've had a World's Fair one before. So I think the subject matter is very important. To Echo, we sold a ceramic crawfish mold. Yeah, this is the best thing about Christmas shopping season always seem to sell to echo that stuff y'all know that stuff that you buy and you think it's really good and it is but it just sits but it's it's, it's fairly unique but it just sits and sits and sits usually the christmas shopping season will clear that stuff out for you yeah. or a lot of times it will this is made in italy yeah Bassano. <laughs> 29.99 for that yeah that thing was cool um, we have we have two lots of racing stickers going out. Two separate people. We'll get those pulled right now. Okay, got the box down. We, first, we, the first one is D sixteen. Yeah, and it was interesting because we don't have a ton of these stickers left, so we're not selling them as quickly as we were. And you said sixteen. Yes. Uh, we might have a problem. I've got seventeen here, and I've got one. Okay, so we started pulling these and we have an we have an issue. 
I shipped the wrong stickers at some point. Yeah. Because we're supposed to have D16. This sucks. We're supposed to have D16 to pull, and we have D1 and D17. That's all we have for That's the Ds. For these, yeah. And went back and looked, and we actually sold D17 mm -hmm. uh, last month. Yeah, November. Um, so someone got them, and they must have not taken them out and looked at them because we never heard that they were the wrong ones. Yep. So we have two messages we have to send. Yeah, two two damage control messages. <clears throat> we have to send a message to the person that bought D16, and I guess that person that bought D17. Yeah. Yeah. And just see what they want to do. Right. So, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's just a mistake. Yeah, it happens. Str it happens yeah, but man, mistake. that's weird because I, this is very simple. I know. Oh, I don't know how I did that. Yeah. All right. Okay, we're going to have to go fix that. And then the other one is what? I'm not sure what we're going to do with that yet. Might see if the per people that bought D16 would want these instead. Right. For a little, and then maybe we, we kick back a few dollars if they yeah. do. Yeah. Because exactly. there are some stickers that are the same. Or one of the other lots we still have. Right. You know. True. Um, and give them, yeah, a few bucks back yeah. just for the trouble. Right. Um, The other one that sold is C13. Okay. It's like, hopefully we have that one. You know, I mean, we you could do you could label things and 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 put fail safes in and double check and all that. Yeah. Mistakes still happen, it but does. it's still it's it's so infuriating. It's yeah. so aggravating because it's such a simple thing. Yep. All right, those right there sold for fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay, so I'll put these back. We have to. Yeah. Now the one, the guy that ordered the ones that we had, we had the mistake on. He also has another item. Uh oh. We're, oh great. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pull it for so y'all can see. But um, we're gonna wait till we hear back from them because they're gonna ship together. It's a little Irish, um, the good luck coin and pocket one hundred three. Okay. Well, the good. You know what the good news is, is we're we're finding out today. Let's see. That's one hundred. That's one hundred three. All right. This is cool. Yeah. Look. It's a little good luck coin. It's very neat. Yeah. I like that. And that sold for a ten ninety nine. The good the good thing is we're finding out today, so there's plenty of time. But there's no shipping deadline right. on top of us or anything like that. Yep. Let me put this stuff up. Okay, we sold a cool clock. It's on three Charlie. It's a atomic snowflake by West Fox. This is the kind of thing that definitely sells around christmas time although i was a little surprised it didn't sell before yeah because of the fact that it's cool and it works still um sold that for 79.99 you opened it up and we cleaned it out the mechanism yeah, out was, and stuff it was working but it was making like a like kind of making a little clicking sound so i, I opened it up and just it it was it's a it's aligned crazy and it was hard to get back together but it was kind of just a little misaligned when it was put back together and it worked fine smooth whenever i after i did that so okay cool um and then the, you can see it's got a little plastic melty parts that's very common for these like right there yeah yeah um okay in the cube we sold a water filter genuine OE, oem ge yeah i went ahead and uh somebody sent a lowish offer what, what it's a it's actually a ge water filter in the cube SWF. Okay. Something that had been sitting here for a little while. Now I have to find it. That wasn't it because it is white. Yeah, but this is Aqua Crest. Uh. Might be behind something else. Let's see. Some other thing here. What is this? Um, I may have to get up on my, uh, yeah, let me get up there. All right, now that I'm up here, I should be able to see a little better. There's another filter right here. What do you want to bet that is it? I bet that's it. That's a G MSWF. Yep. That's it. 
Somebody said, I had a price of like 10. Somebody sent an offer for seven. I'm like, man, that's been here a long time. Yeah. I'd rather go ahead and just get rid of it. Yep. Let me get down. CC1 Ticket to Ride London board game. Yeah, I don't even know what this looks like. We got an offer on this. Okay, yeah, it's small. It's all for nine dollars. Yeah, I took an offer of nine dollars. I didn't even know how big this was or anything. Yeah, I didn't know. The real ticket to ride is big and heavy. Right. Um, two Delta Dash B, some pantyhose. That's right. You have your little pantyhose. Guess you can refill it. Yeah. Top it off a little bit. It's kind of a thing for us, right? Yeah. We do see them. Pr pretty good bit. And they're always cheap. Yeah, they're always real cheap. Like a lot of times, they're quarter, fifty cents. Mm -hmm. These silk reflection, silky sheer, uh, size CD nude. Yeah, that's them. That's them. They sold for eight dollars and ninety nine cents. That was actually a multi quantity listing. I don't remember how many I had, but that's the last pair of those. Okay, yeah, I can just. I think I had three pair, maybe. I can just throw that in a uh, poly mailer. Yep. We sold some more Stampin' Up stamps. Five Delta um, Little Somethings is what it's called. Five Delta. Hey, okay. Yeah. Those there are for $9 12 Little Somethings in there. Little Somethings. Lonnie was happy to see this sale. What was that? I'm Pinoc happy to... Pinocchio. Oh, I was. I couldn't believe he didn't sell yet, man. He's like one of the cooler ones. Bonnie was getting sad for him. Oh, boy. Now I can be a real boy. <laughs> he adopted me. Look, don't. Pinocchio, don't lie. Yeah, we got your nose ready. We got your long nose ready to roll if you do tell a lie, sir. So don't... When you go to get to your new home... Be honest and forthright in everything you do. Be a good boy. Be a good okay, boy. I'll be a good boy. <laughs> sell it for eighty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah, and you know, you know, one reason he probably didn't sell that fast. He is German, but he's not. Uh, yeah, he's not like. He's not Steinbeck or the big brands yeah. or Albright or whatever. Yeah. All right, we're gonna jump over to Etsy. We had three orders on there. Um, two Nutcrackers. First Nutcracker is soccer player on five Charlie. Five on the right, Charlie. Right on the right, on the right. She said it twice, which meant I was going the wrong way. And all the way towards the end of the show. Okay. Got him. Yeah, he's cool. That is an original Irish which is not a company; it's a region, right? Yes. Ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents for it's that. It's a Hodrewa. Hodrewa is the maker of this one. That's a hundred dollar cracker, yeah. That's good. And then, um, the other cracker is on 10 Charlie, it's gold Nico, little Santa Claus, 13 inch Santa Claus. 13 inch Santa Claus, okay. He's got a sack, I think. San He's got a sack, <laughs> okay. Uh, is that him there? No, hold on, maybe he's not here. Does he have a box? No, let me look on five. Uh, wait, that, he's over, no, that's, that's not Santa, that's Moses, alright. Oh, he's over here, I'll see him. You have him? Yeah. Okay, I was wondering why he'd be over there if he was only 13 inches. Yeah. There he is. Yeah, oh, look at that. You know, he's, that's a sketchy looking Santa, I'm wondering no, if he's, he's not. no, to me, like, why? To me, he looks like, I'm not totally sure if he's bringing that to somebody's house or if he just left somebody's house and he's stealing that like the grinch <laughs> um he sold for 79 dollars and 99 cents yeah but he's he, you know you know one thing that kind of tipped me off on that mm. he's not quite fat enough to be santa look mm. see a skinny santa the young santa was skinny oh the young hip santa remember was it in the movie rudolph the cartoon oh yeah when he was young he was skinny Okay. He doesn't hmm. look very young, though. All right, and then the other thing on Etsy that sold is in the flatware drawer. 16-piece service for four cameo sets. Is it this one that says 16-piece Carlisle cameo? Yes. Yeah. Go 
sold for $19.99. Okay. All right, slow but sure on your silverware until you have that really, really desirable pattern, and yeah. those went. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. So we still buy it, but just maybe a little pickier. A, little, a lot pickier, yeah. 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 That's that's the case with everything. We start buying stuff, and then and, you learn in categories, and then you like maybe you make money or whatever, and like, but you you get a feel for how long stuff takes to sell and what makes one thing desirable versus another thing not as desirable and you learn and you get pickier yep right yep all right let me go ahead and get i'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff packed i'm gonna put some football on i may drink some eggnog while i'm packing which is always a good idea <laughs> <laughs> because of, <laughs> what i wasn't drinking whenever i made this mistake i might as well I'm like, <laughs> maybe maybe having some eggnog on maybe me. you were i don't know i wasn't <laughs> I've never, I don't pack drunk. <laughs> all right, but that's going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.